the numerical techniques we will study in the first uh, portion of this class is going to be able to solve all of these equations with no problem. All right. So in order for us to numerically solve this problem, we need to teach the computer how to do it. And for computers to how to do it, the critical problem in solving all of these equations are dealing with terms like DDT, DVDT, DXDT, DVDT, DWDT, right? How do you teach a computer how to deal with terms like that? So we are all engineers, so we designed a lot of things. I presume all of you have designed things before. How many people designed algorithms before? You did? Okay, you did? So let's, let's design, you did. Okay, good. Let's design an algorithm. How do you algorithmically, how do you design an algorithm to approximate a first order derivative if you don't know analytically what the function is? Assuming you ha can evaluate the function at any point, right? So, so if you are given, if you, if you can assume you have a program, maybe it's uh, some other people's program, that have you evaluate, uh, evaluate, let's say, let's say our, our solution is u, okay. Uh, you, can, you can have a subroutine that evaluates ut for any t, okay. How do you algorithmically compute du dt for some other, for some given t? Okay, is it clear? How, yeah, so how to approximate du dt at a t. So, so you have a program somebody else gives you to com compute u of t for any t. So uh, not, not raise your hands right now. Uh, if you need additional paper, there are just uh, uh, think of how to approximate. Okay, so this is one, this is uh, from uh, uh, Maya and Chloe. So there are three formulas they came up with. One is u of t plus delta t minus u of t divided by delta t. All right. Or it's u of t minus u of t minus delta t divided by delta t. Or it's u of t plus delta t minus u t minus delta t divided by 2 delta t. All right. Here, give it to me, please. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Cool. And uh, can you tell us a little bit like what's the idea or principle behind these formulas? Uh, I just thought of it in terms of like the same as a slope. If you have a line of slope, you take the two, uh, the one before and after, and you take the time step between them. Right. So what you're thinking is looking at u as a function of t, right? Yeah. So so let's say this is a function like that. If at a particular point t, you have the corresponding u of t. And the first term here, u of t plus delta t, is assuming you have a finite span here uh, between t and t plus delta t. And then if you evaluate the value of the function here, it's u of t plus delta t. And here is the difference between the function values divided by the difference in t. So you get the slope. And the slope is generally how we approximate derivatives. Same as these two formulas, the second formula is basically taking the slope over here, and the third formula is taking the slope over here, right? Okay, so I've seen multiple versions of this. Almost everybody is uh, coming up with uh, the same formulas. Da -da -da -da. Right, uh, some people actually have specific, have chosen specific values of delta t, but uh, pretty much everybody has the same formula. And then 